hello and welcome back guys in this video I'm gonna show you which is the best networking device that you can use on your Linux desktop computer okay and right okay so as you can see here this is a TP-Link wireless dual band PCI Express adapter the model number is TLWDN4800 okay now usually there's a lot of cheap USB devices available in the market, you know, for uh, you know, for desktops and for laptops. They're basically Wi-Fi dongles. But I'm going to show you a really good device that actually works with Linux, you know, probably it'll work with all the latest kernels and it will work with uh, Windows, Windows 8, uh, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. It's plug and play with Windows 8. I've tried it, yes, and it's plug and play. It's plug and play with Linux. And, uh, you know, let's see what kernel I'm using. The kernel I'm using is uname hyphen a. It's 3.13.1 Manjaro. Okay, I'm using Manjaro Linux and my kernel is 3.13.1. Okay, and this Wi-Fi device is compatible with Arch Linux, Manjaro Linux, and I've even tested it on Debian and Ubuntu. It works. It's plug and play with Debian and Ubuntu too. Okay, so I don't know about the other distributions. I mean, what whatever distribution is based on Ubuntu or on SID, you know, the unstable branch, it should work without any problems. Likewise, on Ubuntu too, Ubuntu derivatives, you know, it should work without giving any problems. <coughs> okay. And what I've, from the looks of it, I mean, I've been to the FreeBSD and PCBSD websites, and there's confirmation that the TLWDN4800 from TP-Link is compatible with FreeBSD and PCBSD2. So you should be able to get this card working in practically all the, all the operating systems that you can get your hands on, you know, so... Um, I'll show you my LSPCI. Okay, LSPCI hyphen N and oh wait a second, LSPCI hyphen T, PCI um, hyphen hyphen help. Let me show you this. Mm. Hyphen T hyphen. K, okay, LSPCI hyphen K. Okay, so it's showing you what the device is. The device is a Qualcomm Ataros AR9300 wireless network adapter. Okay, and my kernel driver uses the ATH 9K, ATH 9K, the kernel modules. So if I type LSMOD and grep and type ATH. Yep, it's the Ataros module is in use, so you can see here. Okay, and this device is basically an N900 Wi Fi PCI Express card. Okay, what this N900 means is that it works, it has dual band, so 450 megabits is for uh, the 2.4 gigahertz band, and another 450 megahertz is for the 5 gigahertz band. So 450 plus 450 gives you 900, so they call it an N900 Wi-Fi adapter, you know, because 450 megabits is for 2.4 gigahertz, and the other 450 is for the 5 gigahertz channel. Okay, so you should get around 45 plus megabytes per second download speed on upload speeds. Okay, and it has triple antenna. It's got three antennas. Okay, and let's see, features are the usual. It supports WPA, WPA2, and okay, so uh, it should have because it's PCI Express, it should have extremely low latency, okay, compared to USB devices. Okay, so it should give you exceptional gaming performance and exceptional, you know, range also. Com it's got three antennas, you can see here. All right, so. That basically covers this device. Okay, so it should work on Linux, all Linuxes, 
all Linux distros that you can get your hands on. It is plug and play with Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 and it should work with FreeBSD. I mean specifically PCBSD. So that should cover it. So I hope this information is helpful to you guys. Let me know what you think of this device if you have one or if you're planning to buy one. Okay, write your comment down below and subscribe if you like this video. If you dislike this video, you can tell me why you dislike this video. Alright. So Thank you for watching.